Uh, in circuit diagram, uh, we have four LDRs in series with the resistors, 10K resistors and the common point of the LDR are connected to 5 volt supply. On the other hand, the common point of the resistors are connected to the ground and the uh, points between the LDR and resistor are connected to the Arduino board to read the values of LDR that is analog value of the LDR so that we can rotate our uh, panel also here we are using two servo motors and uh, the common the red wire of the servo motor are connected to 5 volt supply and the brown wire which is ground of the servo motor are connected to ground and the orange wire which is the PWM signal are connected to pin 10 and pin 9 of the Arduino board uh, remember, just remember uh, the vertical motion of the servo motor are controlled by pin 10 and the horizontal motion are controlled by pin 9 so in order to work properly we have to connect these connections uh, properly Uh, so this is the Arduino code of the, our project. Uh, we are using the servo motor library and uh, we are just defining the two servo motors and we know the rotation of the servo motor is 180 degrees so we initially set the servo motor position to 90 degree and we sense the values of uh, LDR 1, 2, 3 and 4 and according to these values we can rotate the servo motor by using if else conditions and uh, so that we can find maximum light so this is a Arduino code you can find it in description or in the comment section thank you this is the working of our project solar tracking uh, and the plate of the solar panel moves around with me with my light and you can see the vertical motion of the plate using LDRs uh, we are using four LDRs the two diagonal LDRs are controlling the vertical motion and the other diagonal LDRs controlling the horizontal motion and you can you can see the LDR in the working of the LDR uh, we know the working of the LDR uh, when the light uh, is projected on the LDR the resistance of the LDR decreases and so that the sensor of the Arduino board can sense the resistance decrease so that they can move toward that point and we are using the same principle but in industries we can use much higher power sensors and higher DC motors in the servo to control our uh, larger solar panel objects so that we can uh, uh, control the uh, solar plate with higher precision and efficiency. This is the basic working principle of the solar tracker.